MLB Network's coverage of Major League and Baseball is on the air. We've Houston got baseball on the 4th of July Cleveland. between the Minnesota Twins Indiana. and the Cleveland Indians. Digging in now, Luis Arias. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1. One, one. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Got it, got it. Here, got it. Jorge. Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Naquin, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Batting third, the right fielder. At the plate, Nelson Cruz. Still one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Arise on second, Polanco at first with no outs. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santana handles it for the first out of the game. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. Josh Donaldson digging in now. It was a three hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. In now, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-2. One, Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. In now for Cleveland, Cesar Hernandez. Looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. One out, nobody on. Two balls and two strikes now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Under it is Cruz now for round number two. Stepping up now, Francisco Lindor. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Two balls and two strikes The count to Francisco Lindor. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a tough. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Up next for Minnesota, Mitch Garver is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now the one and one pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. And another foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Still a ball and two strikes. Now 
the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. On the year, he's hitting at exactly a 310 clip. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. At the plate now, Max Kepler drilled to the left side. Throw gets him two down. Here's Byron Buxton now. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Byron Buxton. And it's fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The set and the one two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Last half of the second set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Fran Moraes. The one two. Grounded to third. Donaldson's there. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Stepping in, Tyler Naquin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So now Carlos Santana. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the second baseman, Luis Arias. The 1 1. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. Definitely well hit, but the leadoff man's retired to start the third. Third inning, no score to this point. There's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Naquin looks up. Gone! In now, Nelson Cruz. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Reyes is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's Miguel Sano looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's right there, and a good throw gets him one gone. 
Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the one and one delivery. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. Chopped toward the second baseman. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now at the plate, Roberto Perez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. The 3-2 pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The next twin up, Mitch Garver. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The one-two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santana will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Eddie. Digging in to try it again. Eddie Rosario, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. The one two. <laughs> Lifted the other way to left center. Rosario arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Striding in for the Indians, Cesar Hernandez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Line drive to left. And there's the first hit of the game for Cleveland. The batter, the Francisco. So now to the plate, Francisco Lindor. One and two now. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Throw gets him. Two down. So striding in. Fran Moraes. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The payoff pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Too high, and that cost him ball four. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Naquin. 
starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Hit to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. top of the fifth and next to bat will be the first baseman Max Kepler the 2 2 okay. you do not want to walk the eight hole hitter it just opens up so many options do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up this is a huge pitch you can't allow this guy to walk Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Naquin will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Luis Arias. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. And he just manages to get his hand in. Now the one and one pitch. Runners on the move for second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in once again, Jorge Polanco. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Now a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Lindor. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. of the inning now and set to go is the veteran first baseman Carlos Santana the 1 1 is in there for strike number two and he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two full count now three and two Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Fielded cleanly. The next 3-2. Popped up. Donaldson has a play. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. The 2-1. Slap hard the opposite way. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that the designated hitter. Oscar Mercado. To the plate now, Oscar Mercado. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are now two away. The pitcher. So digging in now, Roberto Perez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Nelson Cruz. The 1-1 home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two and this is pulled hard but foul Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there 
And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Now that designated hitter, Miguel. Into the box now, Miguel Sano. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Looking to send him packing again. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Number eight. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A-B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A-B. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the no lineup. Matter. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. He froze him on the fastball there. Jose Ramirez becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Fastball is in there. Bases are empty. One man out. Popped up. Donaldson over to his left. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. And that will bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma. Smile. Hits from both sides of the plate with pop. Defense. You name it. GM's dream right here. And he is in the second with a two out double. Now battle. Stepping in now, Fran Moraes. Two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Takes this the other way to right. And the runner from second is in to score. Homer Bailey takes over here with the runner at first okay. and two gone in the inning. Standing in now, Tyler Naquin. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. At the plate now, Carlos Santana. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Dominic Leone is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. One for two with a double on his line thus far. A ball and two strikes now. A 
down. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now in the box, Max Kepler. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. He's through first and hustling for second. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. In now, Byron Buxton. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. The 2-1 pitch. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Q shot here out towards short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Domingo Santana. His lifetime numbers against Bailey. He's totaled four hits in 20 at bats, seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. Now the Striding forward now is the D.H. Oscar Mercado. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. In there, 1 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. The catcher, number 55. Will throw. At the plate, Roberto Perez. He's running. Skied into straightaway right. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. On to first, a double play. Adam Simber has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number Ready for another chance? Jorge Polanco. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Now batter, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Into the box now, Nelson Cruz. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And there's one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one and two now. Lays off two and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to third. Ramirez with a barehanded effort. Got him. So a runner at second. Two down now. And here's Donaldson. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Stepping in, Mitch Garver in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. The set and the 1 1. 
And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. On to the home run porch and gone. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. So now to the plate, Eddie Rosario. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now battle, the first pitcher. Kepler. To the plate now, Max Kepler. Now a bouncing ball for the shortstop Lindor. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. Trevor May is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, Jose Ramirez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1-1. One, one. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside. And that's a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Into the box, Francisco Lindor. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And he fouls this one off. That one bends around the zone, and it's two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Fouled off. The 2-2 one more time. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. So next it'll be the four-hole hitter for the tribe, Fren Reyes. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Hunter Wood enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Fouled away. The one two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So coming to the plate, Luis Arias. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A ball and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He pulls this one into right, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The back of the left, 
Jorge standing in now. Jorge Polanco. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. Throw to Santana. The double play, and that's how the side is retired. Taylor Rogers enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 55. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Tyler Naquin. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And that's out number one. Here's Carlos Santana now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. One out, nobody on. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Santana will take the turn and head for second now. And he'll pull into second with one away. Number 24. Here we go. In now, Domingo Santana. Full count still. He'll try it again, three and two. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Coming to the plate now, Oscar Mercado. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Cleveland. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. And he'll check his swing here. Did he go around? Yes, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Twins came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Homer Bailey gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Taylor Rogers hammers down the save, his 21st of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Twins, four runs on dead hit, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Cleveland, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 54 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at progress.